compare acute, ask the very relevant clinical question, is it better to make a complete revascularization or should we only treat um, infarct rate through artery only? This was an investigatory initiated clinical randomized clinical trial conducted in 24 different hospitals in Europe and South Asia. We randomized 885 patients one to two uh, randomization manner, uh, two patients in the IRA only per one patient in the complete revascularization. And we look at, at MACE, major adverse cardiovascular events, at the primary endpoint was MACE at one year. And the results from the primary endpoint uh, has been presented at the latest meeting in Washington of American College of Cardiology, and the paper is published in New England Journal of Medicine in March this year. So what I presented on behalf of my uh, co-investigators today at the late breaking clinical trials at AeroPCR was the societal costs when we compare these two strategies in patients with semi and multivessel disease. So the strategy with FFR guided uh, complete revascularization compared to revascularization of infarcturated artery only uh, resulted in one third of the cost saving. The key message is that that. Um, if you make an FFR guided complete vascularization, uh, hazard ratio at 12 months goes down to 0.35, which is quite substantial in terms of combined endpoint death, stroke, need for new revascularization and hospitalization for any cardiac cause. This primary uh, endpoint was mainly driven by substantial decrease of need for new revascularization. And when we then added all the costs that goes with one treatment strategy versus the other, the average treatment costs, so we analyze only the costs, per patient was approximately one third lower in the uh, complete revascularization guided by FFR measurement. <laughs>